Morning members, just uh, a little bit of an information video here just in regards to what we're planning on doing at renovations time. Um, usually we, we use this tine here on the greens at renovations which, which pulls the core out. So you can sort of see the, the hollow there that sort of removes the core from the green. With the, uh, with the soils being so wet at the moment we won't be able to pull the core out. And if we were able to, when we push the cores off, they'd smear over the top of the hole, which would make it impossible to uh, get any sand down into the holes, um, unless we sort of hose the greens off, which is what we, we don't really want to be doing, putting more water on them. Um, and you need nice sunny days as well to get that sand to dry that's applied onto the green, so that it'll sort of work its way into the holes, which, um, it's a bit difficult at the moment. Um, so we're sort of, we're changing our usual routines for these renovations. Uh, this tine here is what we, we sort of do once a month during the year. So we call that a needle tine. It's a solid tine, just punches a hole into the surface. Um, and as we sort of know, it, they heal over pretty quick and you're sort of putting on them again without uh, much surface disruption uh, once they're rolled. Uh, what we're going to do this renovations is use this 12 mil tine. So you can sort of see it's uh, double the size. Um, it's a little bit longer um, and it leaves just a bigger hole on the surface. So, um, which is going to be sort of beneficial at the moment just with uh, the amount of rainfall that we've had um, and just to sort of get some oxygen down to these um, soil profiles for the, the roots of the plants. Um, so yeah, we've done this on the 7-8th green here this morning. So you can see the, the holes that it's left behind. Um, if we do get some favorable weather conditions, we can sort of apply a bit of sand uh, next week or the week after. Um, and that'll sort of be that'll be good for the surfaces uh, it's not so critical this renovations to um, get sand and fill those holes because we're heading into winter obviously if we're heading into summer those um, holes that are created there need to be filled with material so that during the the heat of the summer the greens aren't drying out on us and if you fill that hole up with sand that sort of gives the moisture somewhere to sit and for the plant to well, and be available for the plant to use. So um, that's the bigger time and what's sort of left afterwards. Um, on Monday, I needle tined the 18th screen up here. So I'll, um, I'll show you the uh, after effects of the different size tines. Um, just an update on rainfall. We had 40, 48 mils last night, and I reckon that would have came, come down in probably space of an hour. Um, yeah, it sort of caused a bit of damage out there on the course, sort of washing away pathways and that sort of thing. Um, so that takes the monthly total for March up to 563 and a half mil. And the year to date so far, I think it was 1,021. So just to get an idea there, last year we, for the year, we had 1,087 and a half, I think. So yeah, three months into the year and we're almost had the same amount of rainfall as we had last year. So yeah, back to, back to holes in the green. Um, so this is the 18th green here. This used that smaller needle tine that I showed you before. So yeah, the holes, the holes are no, nowhere near noticeable, as noticeable as uh, the 7 8 screen down there where we've used that 12 mil solid tine. Um, so yeah, that's the plan at the moment. Um, courses, well at this stage, I don't think it'll be open before the weekend. And, um, yeah, how wet it is out there this morning. I know this course does dry pretty good and we've sort of seen that over the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, but I I doubt that it's, uh, unless we get sort of three or four days of good sunshine, 
I doubt we'll be open on the weekend because the forecast is sort of continuing showers. Um, so yeah, so the plan is to sort of bring the Renaults forward, all this sort of adjusted uh, Renaults that we're doing. Um, so yeah, we're doing this 7-inch green today. We've done the practice green already. Um, so yeah, we'll just start doing the uh, the rest of the greens while the course is closed. The greens aren't too bad and green complexes aren't too bad to sort of be driving these tractors around. Um, but yeah, fairways and rough lines and that um, absolutely saturated to the point where I don't really want my guys driving the runabouts across them. That's how wet they are. Um, yeah, so we can see Jack in action here. That's the new Verde drain, which we've been waiting nine months for. Uh, just with COVID holdups with uh, transportation of um, new new machinery and that from overseas. So we waited nine months for that. So into action. Uh, so yeah, just that's the course update for this morning. So yeah, hopefully we get all these greens holes punched in them sort of tomorrow Friday see how we go in the week or two coming up after that and uh, yeah if we can get a bit of sand on them we will um, mind you the greens are in pretty good condition they've had a had a break from play we've been punching those needle tines in them so they're sort of nice and healthy there and as I said enjoyed the break all surfaces have enjoyed the break for play actually. Tees are looking good. Um, yeah, just sort of get this rain to stop so we can get everyone back out there because uh, yeah, I'm missing my golf as well. Um, so yeah, hope everyone's um, staying safe and we'll see you all back out here on the course very soon.